Hello, this is Transformative Tuesday, and I just want to welcome you, and I hope that this is going to be a really wonderful time. I am inviting Robin Lewis to be my guest on the show, and it'll just take a minute for her to receive the invitation. We're trying again, and Lord willing, we're going to get through this time. Obviously, there's something the Lord wants to say to each of you that the enemy is standing so strong against this happening. So about 12 years ago, I met Robin at LL Ministries. And that was really special. And the Lord has given us a friendship and allowed her to be a blessing in my life. And hopefully I've been a blessing to her. But the other day, I interviewed Robin, who is a life coach. A, she speaks, teaches Bible studies, and she's an author. And I have her book here. It's a re recent publication of a book that she has just authored. And so I interviewed her, and we did a podcast, and that will be appearing on... Thursday, and I hope you will join it because, and listen, because what Robin has to say is really important. She shares her testimony and how God has been working in her life through the path of healing to bring her out of the captivity of trauma and just the despair and emptiness that can only be really de dealt with at the cross of Jesus Christ. So we're still trying to, to find out how to get her to connect, and somehow it's not connecting. So hello, Jindy. It's nice to see you. Haven't seen you in many years. So... Robin shares her story, and again, it's a podcast that is going to be released on Thursday on my page. So please listen in. I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, I'm just going to jump in and hope that she joins us. And if not, then we'll have to try it another day. But many years ago, probably about 12, I was at LL Ministries for the Mod B course. And we used to meet once a month for the weekend. And the Lord had really been speaking to my heart. And at the end of the session on Thursday, uh, on Saturday afternoon, the speaker invited us to come forward if we needed prayer. Robin, I see you. Um, can you find the invitation? We're just hitting it again. Let me. Do you need it to go there? Okay. okay. So, Robin, I'm hoping. Okay, I have sent you the invitation, so I'm hoping that you receive it. Well, let me go on with my story. I had been convicted that I needed to speak to one of the prayer ministers, and Robin was up there, and I knew that if I could just talk to her, then she could pray with me, and we could work through this thing. And so... I stood up when they said we could go choose the prayer minister we wanted to speak to. And I stood up and started going towards Robin. But immediately another lady darted in front of me and went to Robin. And so I sat back down because the rest that were available were men. And there was no way I was going to talk to a man. And so as I was sitting there waiting, the Lord said to me, Barbara, I want you 
to talk to Victor. And I was shocked. And I said, no, Lord, you don't understand. I can't talk to Victor. I need to talk to Robin. Now, Robin is a woman. She will understand and she can help me. Victor's a man and I don't want anything to do with men, quite frankly. And the Lord, like the Lord is, was gentle and quiet. When the Holy Spirit speaks to you, it's with a still small voice. And he said, Barbara, I want you to go to Victor. Well, I looked up and someone was already with Victor. And I said, ha ha, see, Lord, I can't go to Victor. Someone's there. I'm going to wait for Robin. But if, if Victor comes free, then okay, I'll go talk to him. Well, sometimes I do that in the past. I've I bargained with the Lord, and and the Lord just smiles because I made a promise, a commitment, and He knew that when I commit to Him, then I keep my word, especially because He's asked me to do something. And so within a couple minutes, I looked up, and the man was going back to his seat, and Victor was free. And so very reluctantly, I got up, and I went to Victor. And as I did, I was really scared. I did not want to obey. I don't like being vulnerable in certain areas. I like to stay comfortable. And the Lord was having me step outside my comfort zone. And so I sat down next to him, but I wouldn't look at him. And so I began to talk, and I, I shared that we're still trying to get Robin on. I shared that I had been violated by several men, and, and again, I wouldn't look at him. And so Victor began talking very gently, and he said, Barbara, I want you to know that God did not approve of what happened to you. In fact, God was angry with what happened to you. Well, that astonished me because I had been taught so strongly that God is sovereign, and when something happens, it's his will. But you see, there's a difference between God's desire for you and for me and his permissive will. He gives us permission to make choices. And when someone does something that violates you, it's not because God wanted that to happen to you. It's that he has allowed it because he has given us free will, a free choice. And so Victor was talking very nicely. And then he said, and I want you to know, I am so sorry for what happened to you. It was wrong. And there's no way that any man should ever do that. And then he said, Barbara, I want you to look at me. Because I want to stand in the place of those people that violated you. Very reluctantly, I looked him in the eyes. And he said, Barbara, I haven't done this. But I want to stand in the place of those men that sexually violated you. And I want to ask your forgiveness. Will you forgive me? I didn't know what to do. And I looked down and I just was so, <laughs> I was torn up. I didn't know what to say. And that's not something you can just do lightly. It's not something you can say, oh, yes, of course, I'll forgive you. I had to think about it. And then Victor asked me again, Barbara, will you forgive me? And I looked up at him and I said, yes, I forgive you. Something very powerful happened in the heavenlies at that moment. Something was broken. And then Victor prayed for me. And so 
for myself. Forgiveness has been a crucial part of my recovery from trauma. It hasn't been an easy path. It hasn't been a happy path. But it's been a path that is so worthwhile. Your recovery is worth fighting for. And I know if Robin was here, she would encourage you to move forward onto the path to seek to receive God's forgiveness, to, re to forgive others, to forgive yourself, and to forgive God. And yes, God has not done anything wrong, but we have wrong perceptions of God. And I thought God wanted bad things to happen to me. And so I have to forgive God because that is not his heart. And so now today, I want to do what Victor did for me. There is recovery from trauma, but it's through the pathway of forgiveness. And I want to challenge you to take that first step and begin to forgive that person that hurt you. That person doesn't deserve your forgiveness. That is true. They do not deserve your forgiveness. But I want to stand in the place of that person that so traumatized you, so wounded you. Maybe it wasn't a sexual abuse. Trauma comes in many, many different forms. And every trauma, large or small, is important because you are important. And so I want to stand in the place of that person that violated you and say, will you forgive me for that evil that was done to you? And I know you need to take a moment and think about it. This is a serious moment. Will you allow me to step in the place of that person who may be dead who may never, ever come to you and say sorry? Will you allow me to be a substitute and stand in their place? Will you forgive me? Father, I ask for this precious individual that has just made that choice, who has just said yes, that you will touch them and encourage them and break the powers of darkness that are over them and around them. May they be covered by your precious blood. May they experience your cleansing, your healing touch, delivering them from the violence, the betrayal that they experience. Father, I ask in Jesus' name that you bless this precious person and give them the courage to move forward on the path of forgiveness, which is the path to recovery from trauma. I thank you for them. Bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said yes, I would appreciate it. If you would send me a private message, I would love to pray personally for you. This is one of the most important decisions you are going to make in your life next to your decision to follow Christ. The decision to move onto the path with the Lord Jesus Christ, the path of forgiveness, which is also the path of recovery, of healing, and deliverance from the trauma that you experience. I'm sorry Robin couldn't join us. Maybe another day. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless.